for those that came for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content, please do not click off of this video just yet. I just want to tell all of my Fortnite viewers that I competed in the Hype Night yesterday, and I got the same amount of points as I did last week, 34. The only difference is that this time I got less placement and one more Elam. So, I don't know if that's really considered getting better. Technically, ha having more Elams than on one week than the other week would make me say that the most Elams is better, but at the same time, that means that I died quicker too, so who knows. But regardless, I got 34 points in the Hype Night, and I don't think that there's going to be any more Hype Nights until the new season, if there even is any more Hype Nights. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, NovaDude316, coming at y'all with another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my highlights for all three days and the most recent North American Open for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which took place August 14th through August 16th. Be sure to leave a like if you do, in fact, enjoy this video. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the clips. Before I really commentate what exactly happened in my clips, I want to say to my viewers that I actually told y'all last Monday that I had a special video planned that involved my dad that I would be doing today. However, I'm not able to do that video today, which is why this video is here. But tomorrow, y'all... I can almost guarantee you guys tomorrow that that special video will be coming out. Alright. Now that that is said, let's see here. Okay, so that clip was pretty much showing y'all that I was in second place and got a coin. Well, first place literally got a banana. This clip here is showing that I lost my super horn to a boo. Right when a spiny shell started coming. But regardless of that happening, I still managed to get the win. And this here is another win that I ended up getting. I tried to hit somebody with my red shell there at the end, but... Sadly, second place didn't go through the middle like most people do. And that clip there was just the crazy... How in like five seconds I went from seven to second. But that clip there, I forgot to finish it all the way through. It was literally just me getting first place. And it wasn't really that special of a first place. A lot of first places I feel like lately haven't really been special, which. or like have even involved anything really. But despite that, I still show them as clips just to show you guys how consistent I might be. But as you can see here in day one of the North American Open, y'all, I got 235 points, which is decent, but nowhere close to the top. And this wasn't even taken by the time the tournament was over. Someone probably got like 360 on the first day or something. I just did it right at 3 o'clock when it first started and finished at like 4 something. But regardless, day one, I got 235 points. Alright, so now we're heading into day two, and we start off with some bad luck there. Then we also have a cool snipe. But, within the two North American Opens that I've competed in, guys, the highest score I've ever gotten is 240. Y'all make your predictions, will I be able to beat that? In this set of days, 235 wasn't enough, y'all. Do you think that the second day, I was able to get more than 240 points? Alrighty, this was actually a crazy win. I was, if I didn't have that mushroom, I don't know if I would have even won, actually. But, sadly, I got hit by Metal Mario's red shell. Then that's somebody shockingly predicting that I was going to throw my green shell. Like, it, that shell would have not hit me if I hadn't thrown mine. But this here is a little comeback. 
y'all from like something low to fourth. So that's pretty good. I believe tenth. Tenth to fourth is a decent comeback. Then this here is probably one of the worst bad luck clips ever. Like from third to twelfth, and it's one of those times where like it's not like people just passed me on the road. People ended up gliding and like they were just really far ahead of me. But here's me getting bad luck on my least favorite course in the game. Yes, I know, y'all are probably wondering why I'm saying that. Well, I just feel like uh, every time I'm on that course, I will get in the first place, stay there for like the first five laps. Lap six and seven, everyone will just screw me over. Then there's more bad luck, which day two actually, to be honest, like, the first 10 races were just terrible. I didn't really start getting first place in any of it until, like, the final races. But, yeah, I didn't get first place much or do anything much, but... People actually did crazy. Like, this was taken before 5 o'clock. This was taken at, like, 5 o'clock. Three people already had 360 points, but... Day two, guys, I got 234, which was one less than day one. Usually you think that each day someone would get better, but I guess not exactly. But I still persevered, and y'all are going to see what happened on the final day. Which, I honestly feel like, unless I... Like, this ending, actually, to this tournament, I'm just going to tell you, was crazy. Like, I had probably one of the best endings ever. But, yeah. It looks like this clip's also bad luck. I honestly feel like most of my clips have just became bad luck. Like, that's technically even bad luck. It's not severe for, like, me, but... It's, like, bad luck in the sense that I got hit, then I tried to hit the person in first. And third place said the same idea, and we both hit each other's shells. Alrighty, and then after that, here comes bad luck. Bad luck attacks once more. And y'all think it's done? No. Don't worry, I'm in first, and I've got really low placement. Like, I literally went from first to ninth in that clip. That's like the opposite of a comeback compilation. Then after that, I somehow got double the bombs, which is actually really rare, as you can see, but... It didn't really have much of an impact. But still, I got first, which is good. Then you've got this clip here, which... When I threw this second red shell, I thought it was going to hit them and make them spin out. And I was like, no, they didn't stop. And I thought I wasn't going to win, but I barely snuck past them at the end there, guys. But yeah, the second half of this day was definitely crazy. This is bad luck here. Like... I thought that when I tricked on that one vehicle, I was going to land on the top of the other one, and it would pretty much keep me, like, invincible from other players, since they wouldn't be able to get up there. But sadly, instead, I bounced off of it into a wall and got fourth instead of first. Like, if I just stayed on the road, I probably would have gotten first still. But that's a first place, and here is another first place. Y'all. But like I said... I got first place a lot at the end. Because guess what, y'all? I'm not done with the first places yet. We're still going in with them. And y'all, guess what? Did you think I was done there? No! Here's another first place. My final three races, I believe, were actually first place. Alright, then after that, this clip here, y'all, look. I have a super horn. I go to use my coin, so that way I can then use my super horn to dodge the blue shell. But ironically, I used my coin. And right after I did, somebody used a boot, and it just so happened to take my super horn. Like, if I held on to it for another second, I would have actually been able to dodge that blue shell. But, y'all, we actually have a new high score in all the North American Opens, y'all. It is crazy. I got 252, which, not gonna lie, is pretty good, honestly, for a kid. But 
yeah, that's going to be it for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe clips in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you did in fact enjoy this video. And subscribe to the channel. It would support me a lot. There's my friend code if you want to friend me on Nintendo Switch. And the games that I am currently playing are right here. If the screen wouldn't be so blurry. Okay, there. But those are the games that I'm playing right now from here and here. I'll be making, I'll be playing these games like almost every day. I play this game just enough to make a video once every two weeks. But yeah, with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And with all that being said, I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.